Hi guys, perhaps you know by now that WooCommerce basic features do not allow you to handle products in pre-order mode. You need to rely on a plugin to do so. Our premium plugin, Git Pre-order for WooCommerce, is the most complete one available with hundreds of options to manage your pre-order products. You can configure an automatic pre-order mode for all out-of-stock products in your e-commerce or just configure the pre-order mode on specific products. We're going to teach you how to do everything in this video, step by step, but before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is activate the plugin. So let's go over to plugins. I have already installed it here, so I'm going to search for my pre-order plugin here and I'm going to activate it. Great. So now that we have the plugin activated, we're going to go over to Give, Pre-order, General Options, and we're going to start configuring the plugin. So first of all, we need to have this option enabled. Enable all pre-order features for your visitors. This is literally the option that turns the plugin on and off, okay? Then we have the second option, automatically enable pre-order mode in out-of-stock products. By enabling this option, the pre-order mode will be activated automatically in all of the products in your shop whenever these products become out of stock. Take into account that when a product is in pre-order mode, the add to cart button is replaced by a pre-order button and each cell is handled as a pre-order, okay? Now, if I enable this option, I'm going to get this other option, which is where to automatically enable the pre-order mode. We can just leave this as it is in all out of stock products. So as soon as a product becomes out of stock, it will go into pre-order mode automatically. And then we have this other option to automatically enable the pre-order mode only on specific out of stock products or categories. If I select this option, I can choose which products will have the automatic pre-order mode, like this. I can choose a product or a variation, as you can see right here. And here I can search for the categories that will have this automatic pre-order mode. Let's keep this option enabled for all out-of-stock products. And let's save options. Now let's go over to products. I'm going to choose this one right here and we're going to see the pre-order options that we have for a specific product. We're going to scroll down to product data, pre-order. In addition to the automatic pre-order mode that we have configured in the plugins panel, we can also configure the pre-order options inside each product cited page, okay? By enabling this, we are of course overriding the global settings. Let's do that. And the first option we get right here is whether to put this product in pre-order mode manually or automatically when the product is out of stock. If we choose manually, we're going to get this option so that we can schedule the pre-order mode. So we can simply start the pre-order mode immediately after we click on update, this product will be in pre-order mode or we can schedule a start date for the pre-order mode. If we click here, we're going to see that we have a calendar where we can choose date and time. Like for example, Sunday at noon. So if we schedule this, the product will still be visible in the shop, but users will not be able to pre-order it until Sunday at noon. And we also have here the option to customize a label for the pre-order start date. But let's just leave this as immediately so that the pre-order mode starts as soon as we update this product. Then we have the product availability date. This is when the product will be available for sale when it will be released. We can choose not to set a date and just end the pre-order mode manually. We can choose a date from the calendar or set a specific time interval for the product to become available after the user pre-orders it. So if we set, for example, five days here and the user pre-orders the product today, then five days from today, the product will become available. This is a dynamic availability rule to make sure that the product becomes available automatically after a certain number of days. 
So this option can help you if you're selling custom or handmade products and you know you will need a specific number of days to make that product and then ship it. We're going to choose a date instead. So I'm going to select this option, choose a date from the calendar and we're going to choose, let's say, April 28 at noon. And then you're going to find pre-order price options right here to maintain or modify the product price. You can simply use that regular price or you can choose to set a fixed price when the product is in pre-order mode. You can apply a discount, either a percentage discount or a fixed amount discount on the selling price or you can increase the regular price of the product. Let's offer a discount, a percentage discount to those users that purchase the product before it's released. Let's offer a 20% discount. And now let's update the product. And let's go see that on the side. So my product is in pre-order mode right now because we chose to enable the pre-order mode manually but immediately. You can see that the regular price is crossed out and here we have the new price which is the pre-order price with a 20% discount. Here we can see when the product will become available. April 28th at noon. That's the date that we set in the calendar just before. And here, since this is a product in pre-order mode, we do not have the add to cart button. We have a pre-order now button that can be customized and have any label you want to. Now we can definitely modify this text so that it stands out. Let's go over to the dashboard to ETH, pre-order, style. You have options like choosing how the product price looks. Right now we have the regular price crossed out and the pre-order price next to it. This is the option that controls that. We can simply choose to hide the regular price and show the pre-order price while the product is in pre-order mode. Here you have the option to customize the pre-order button label. Let's do this. You can add anything you want here and you can also customize the colors. Here's the option we're looking for. Text to show in products with availability date because this product of ours has an availability date that we chose in a calendar. This is the text that is visible, right? Let's add something else here above so that it's super obvious that the product is available for pre-order. And we can have this in bold. And let's add a different color. There we go. Save options. Let's go see that product again. Refresh. There. Now that stands out. We can see that the product is available for pre-order and when it will become available. And we changed the pre-order button from pre-order now to pre-order. So after doing all of this, we can choose how users are going to be able to pay for these pre-orders. So let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go over to the payment options tab. So we're going to find these three options for the pre-orders payment. We have upfront payment so that the user pays the moment he pre-orders the product before it is released and before he gets the product. So they will basically pay for the product at checkout using one of the payment methods available in your shop. Then we have the upon release option and this option needs a supported payment gateway. So what I did was activate our Yeet WooCommerce Stripe plugin so that we could have this option enabled. So basically customers will be redirected to checkout. They will enter their credit card details there, but the price of the product will be automatically charged later when the product is available. And then we have this option, the pay later gateway. With this option, customers will be redirected to check out during the purchase, but they won't have to pay anything there. When the product becomes available, they will receive an email asking them to make the payment. Of course, you're the one that is going to choose which option is the best one for your own site. You might want to charge the users only when the product is available, like Amazon, not binding the user to make a payment beforehand, or perhaps you do want to ask for a payment in advance like Nike. Let me show you what happens if we choose the upon release payment option. 
this is the option that is using our e-commerce stripe plugin save options another thing i want to show you before we go over to the site is this one we can go over to general options scroll down and we can offer free shipping for all pre-order products save options let's go back to the site and i'm going to pre-order this product let's go view the card so here we have the product the release date the price with the pre-order discount applied the pre-order free shipping right here because i chose to offer free shipping for all pre-orders and here it says that the total 3760 will be charged on april 28. let's proceed to checkout here we have the product the release date again with the color we chose before in the plugins dashboard the product price with the pre-order discount already applied the pre-order free shipping the total that will be charged on april 28 when the product is released and here the users will be able to enter their credit card details but when they click on place order the total price won't be charged to them instead on april 28 without me having to do anything else the price will be charged to the credit card added right here the customer won't even have to go through the trouble of getting back in the site to manually make the payment and you will not lose orders or payments as i said before you do need a supporter gateway to enable the upon release payment option so you can choose from our own plugins yid woocommerce stripe yid stripe connect for woocommerce or yid paypal braintree for woocommerce or even choose the woocommerce stripe gateway plugin now let's go back to the dashboard and let's go over to the notifications tab due to the way pre-orders work the best thing you can do for your customers is keep them updated on the pre-order process it is also a good idea for you as an admin to be updated on everything so we have this notification section where you'll find email notifications that can be sent out to the admin and to the users here you will find the admin notifications options like get an email when a pre-order release date is near you can choose when that email will be sent to you you can choose to get an email when a user purchases a pre-order product you can choose to get an email when a user deletes a pre-order and then here we can find the customer notifications you can send an email to customers to confirm the pre-order so that they can rest assured that their pre-order has been placed then you can send an email to customers when a pre-order product is released you can also send an email to customers when a release date is changed to keep them updated on the products they pre-ordered and you can send the email reminder to make the pre-order payment this is useful if you have the upon release payment option so as to remind the users that they have to pay for that pre-order that the payment is pending and you can even choose how many days after the release date the reminder will be sent to them this is super useful keep in mind to enable especially this email in case you choose the upon release payment option to remind your customers that they have to pay for the pre-order okay guys that's how you can configure the plugin and finally handle pre-orders on your site i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video